Ladies and gentlemen, in recent weeks it has been found out that players can acquire animals to guard their camps in Fallout 76. How you may ask? Well today I am going to show you. Before we go into today's video, if you would like to make my day and subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget to smash a like on it for me, that would be absolutely incredible. Now let's go straight into the video guys, thank you for watching. A couple weeks ago on Reddit, someone called Warbrand2 started investigating whether or not it is possible to tame animals in Fallout 76. Through investigating this, the user found out it can be done and when completed, the animal will spawn at your camp and protect it until it dies. However, there are a few limitations and requirements to do this successfully. According to an article on GamerRant.com, the link will be in the description down below, not all animals are tameable as of the date of the article being published. So far there are 6 animals confirmed to be able to be tamed. So far there's been a Brahmin, a Deathclaw, Megasloth, Mongrel, Radstag and Yaogwai. These are all confirmed to be tameable guys. But not any and every animal can be tamed. According to the same article, for an animal to be tameable, there are these requirements. Number one, the animal must be half the tamer's level. Number two, the animal must spawn alone. Number three, the spawn has to be random with no connection to an event in the area. So you've got to be wandering around Appalachia and find some random Brahmin or some random Deathclaw. It can't be part of, say, Rosa's quest or anything like that. But it isn't just the animals which have certain requirements. The player's build also must be aimed around a certain criteria. Obviously, your player's build needs to have high charisma. According to Gamerant, the higher your player's charisma, the higher difficulty animals you can tame. In the article, it reports players have confirmed 6 charisma is enough to tame a level 16 Yaogwai. As well as it being confirmed, a player with 9 plus charisma points captured a level 21 Deathclaw. If this sounds like something you want to do a lot, I would suggest maxing out charisma to heighten your chances of taming animals throughout Appalachia. Now, as you may have guessed, there is a certain perk you require to choose to be able to do all of this. The perk needed to tame animals is Animal Friend, which is unlockable at level 30. To be able to tame the animals, you need to get this perk maxed out at rank 3. So basically, the lowest level you have to be to be able to do this is level 33. Rank 3 provides a 75% chance of pacifying an animal in addition to unlocking the tame feature, which will appear when aiming at a tameable animal. So far, this is somewhat of a hidden feature in Fallout 76, which could lead to some more being found out throughout the lifespan of the game. Now... During the last couple of weeks since I found out this little tip and trick, I've not really heard much people speak about it or really know about it. So a lot of you that's watching this is probably the first time you've heard anything about being able to tame the animals and be able to keep them at your camp. Please bear in mind guys, you can only have one animal at the camp at a given time. You can't have two, three, four, it's always one. So if you tame another animal, it will replace the animal that is currently staying at your camp. Another note to consider is at level 50, players unlock access to the perk Wasteland Whisperer, which is the same as Animal Friend, but with the creatures instead. Therefore, although as far as I'm aware it isn't confirmed yet, players may be able to tame creatures as well as animals. Maybe in a future update, these animal companions will be able to leave your camp and adventure through Appalachia with you, therefore being proper companions and not just companions that stay at home. Stay at home companions is not what we want, guys. We want someone to venture around with us. But if, say you in a party with four people, every single person in your party had an animal with them, would that be too much, do you think, like... That's like four people and four animals. Like, there's not going to be much being able to stop you. Even you fight a scorch beast, it's you're going to have like eight things fighting against it. Unless someone sets off a nuke, you're going to be a bit, you'll be a bit screwed then. Still, as everyone is, no matter what happens, when someone sets off a nuke and there's a queen scorch beast in the air, you're screwed, boy. A girl. This is not a sexist video. It is 2018. 
I hope you all enjoyed this and found this video helpful and interesting. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, if you are new. That would be absolutely amazing. We are around the 1,250 subscribers mark. We did hit it, but then YouTube did a purge, and I lost six subscribers, so I'm a bit under at the moment. Um, as of recording this video, I think I need two subscribers to hit it again. So, guys, help me out. Hit that subscribe button. Smash a like because it shows you guys are enjoying it, and it helps me get recognized by other people who's new to the channel and stuff. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.